Hi there, it's Pascal here again. So I'm now at Crystal Palace Football Club. Um, so this is gonna be like quick one I'm, because I'm running, I don't like stopping. Um, if you are trapped in a job that you don't like, you don't see a way out, um, you don't even have time to exercise, you don't even have time to do anything else. If you can't do exercise, that's for you to understand the trap we talk about. So when you try to do something to improve your life, when you try to do something that you love, you can't do it because of work. Does that make sense? That's, that's the trap we talk about. So you're already trapped. Now, how do you get out of it? You need to understand this. Success is the progressive realization of your worthy idea. You're not gonna see the ideal now. You're not gonna see how you're gonna create that life you want. But there's one step in front of you. What is it? It might be registering for your training. It might be joining a webinar. That's the most important step. Take it and don't look back. Don't look back. Remember what happened to people that look back in the Bible? They turn to salt. Don't look back because what you don't want is at the back. You want to stop seeing it and start seeing where you're going. It will be like driving in a fog. You can only see 100 meters, but you can't see the destination. You can't even see the end of your street. You only need to drive that first 100 meters and the next 100 meters will unfold. That's the part. It takes faith to do that. So I encourage you, let's go. So hi guys, I'm on top of the hill now. This is the park. It's like half of the way. So there's there's only one thing I want to give you on this message. It's quite straight simple. If you're still caring about what other people will think about you for 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 going through doing what you're trying to do to change your life and your family here's the simple thing that you need to understand nobody really cares people will always hate you and people will always love you so you need to focus on the people that love you and work for them you're putting all this work for them so that's the message ignore the haters they're always gonna be there if you're in this space where you're wondering um why do you have to record um, i'm not a social media person i don't like posting all these things here's my message to you those of you that are scared of social media here's my message you're not showing off all right you're not showing off you're constantly fighting that thing in your head telling you you should hide you should not um um do it because if you allow that inner voice to win you by not sharing your journey because you're not doing it for anybody else you're doing it for yourself you're doing it to inspire yourself because you will look back one day and say if i have run five miles this day i can do it again then you go out and do it because you know you've done it so it's the proof for you so you help others by doing that same thing so it's not about you it's about the inner voice that keeps going on in our mind and keeps telling you you can't you can't you can't you shouldn't you shouldn't you shouldn't that's the way the war is it's not in the running it's not you need to show others how you did because without somebody telling you that they went to work and they made money to buy a house to build a car to build a road, they buy a house bought a car you wouldn't have been inspired to pursue that sort of dream. You wouldn't have been inspired to go to school. Because somebody went to school, they got a higher job. So that's what this is all about. They showed it, so it's your turn now to do your best for the world. I'll see you at East Korea. Bye. Hi guys, it's Pascal here. So in this video, I am at East Croydon. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, that's the sign there at the back. Um, so I'm just literally shooting this video too. So I've come to the end of my five mile run. Um, if you've been following me, this is the first time that you're stumbling on any of my videos. Um, I always tell people that are looking to change their life. There are people that are looking to um, start a business online. They don't know where to start. I am doing it and I encourage you to do it because it's going to get you the life you want. But you got to understand the baby steps first. You got to understand how to get going. It's not 
a get rich quick mental uh, mindset is not something that you're gonna plug in and you st all these things that you see online people it doesn't really work like that it takes a little while for you to get it to that consistency and that's where i am now so but you gotta understand the steps in front of you the first what I, this is what i want to say to you the first year is going to be learning i'm not saying you're not going to make money i'm not saying you're not going to do any um do anything but it's still gonna be learning phase for you so what i want you to think of is this look at i think of running running a five mile and run so the first thing is you just run that first hundred meters you now run the next hundred meters you now run before you know you've done five miles so that's how i train myself now success is the progressive realization of a worthy idea i keep saying that again because it literally, when I heard that, I'm like, you become what you think about. So if I think I can do 100, then I can do the next 100, then I can do the next 100, then I can. So I just get, instead of thinking of what's going to happen in the last 100, I just run the first 100. You understand me? That's how, you, that's how you're going to get the result you're looking for. If anybody's telling you something else and you believe it, that's all up to you. So um, here's my message. Keep it simple. Don't rush things. What I want you to do is avoid these three things. It's in the parable of the sower. The first part of the seed will fall by the wayside and birds will eat them. Some people will try to start, you will try to start and don't allow the bird to eat you. So basically, what does that mean? It's simple, don't get into the idea of shiny syndrome. Um, anything that, lack of concentration, you can't focus on what you want to achieve. Whether it's to quit your job, is to create, uh, support your husband, support your spouse, whatever it is for you, you have to understand that you can't allow distractions to. So if, if you want to start a business online, start a business. If you want to do crypto, do crypto. If you want to do um, drop your Shopify, do Shopify. If you want to do Amazon, if you do Amazon, don't do everything at the same time. Otherwise, you do jack of all trade, master of none. That's the first thing. The second step is um, you will... This is not the entrance. <laughs> the second step is, um, don't try to spring up. Um, the, the, as soon as the sun comes down, it gets, the people get scorched. Now, you don't want to get into get rich quick mentality. That's what it simply means. Um, how long is it going to take me? How long, am I, if I put $100 in, um, how much am I going to make back? All this sort of mentality, you got to overcome that. That's the key. You got to overcome that escape get rich quick mentality so that's what how you escape that is think long term think one year the reason you're trapped in that situation that you're in is because your employment employee gets you to think only 30 days you can't build your life thinking 30 days you gotta think one year then break it down and this is you now going into action break it down to a 30-day goal and start achieving those goals straight so you're walking you're constantly thinking of the one year goal but you bring it down and zoom in and see what do I need to do today over the next 30 days to create a life. So that helps you snap away from get rich quick mentality. So think long term. The last bit is um, stones will choke them. Now this is where life has to get, sometimes life get in the way. You allow sickness or somebody in your family falls ill or something happens got to be resilient this is something outside of your control you just have to accept that that is life sometimes um, i got a call from a lady that said she's in the hospital um, so there's nothing anybody can do about it you got to look after yourself that's why it's important to do exercise to get yourself into the right shape and eat the right food so if you get past these three sort of mental blocks you've won remember next step is some will produce 30%, some will produce 60%, some will produce 100%. You're successful. So this is how I do my more Sunday routine. I hope you find it interesting. I'm gonna, I stopped at um, Crystal Palace and I made a video there. You might be watching it now. Then I got to the top of the hill. I went, stopped at the Portland Road. And this is what I was sharing as, as I was going through. I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you on the next video. Take care, bye-bye. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and I'll be giving you some of these tips that would help you overcome the next um, hurdles in your life. As I'm experiencing them, I'll be sharing them with you, how I overcome it so that you will be faster than me. I want you to, I want us to see it someday in the future and you say, Pascal, you inspired me to keep going. 
when the going was tough. That's all I want to hear from you because I knew in the end both of us were successful. I'll see you at the top. Bye-bye.